Hey guys, it is Michelle. We are filming a new outfit today. Well, it's not new. You've seen the outfit before, but I don't think I've ever filmed the shoes before with you guys. So I thought we would because I can't remember the last time. I, f I don't know if I've ever filmed this particular shoe, but I thought it went so well with the outfit. So let's go. Um, so today I'm just wearing e.l.f. liner and an Essence mascara. I didn't do any eyeshadow today because I'm having an eczema breakout on my eyelids because that's a thing and it really stinks, but we move on. We have my typical earrings and I'm wearing this necklace. It says Chihuahua Mom. Um, I got after Desi passed. Um, I love it because obviously Chihuahua Mom and because it has that old school juicy couture feel. So I think it's really cute. On to the outfit. So I know you've seen this dress before. This was gifted to me by a subscriber. I want to say within a, a year or two. I love this dress. I love the way it fits on my body type. I love how it has a little bit of swirl at the bottom here. I would, I have to get a petticoat for it because I think that would just amp up this look. I want to get more of these in different colors because I personally love the way this looks on my body. I think it looks really good. Um, super cute. Perfect length for work as far as I'm concerned. I think it's adorable. So the cardigan, because I do not wear sleeveless looks at work without a cardigan. Just an old school um, rule that I have always followed for the office. Personally, I just think it, it, it looks better um, for an office setting. But I bought this at like the Salvation Army a few years ago. The one over by me went out of business, sadly. I paid $2 for this. It's been a staple in my wardrobe ever since I got it. It's great. And I think it brings the outfit down um, just enough for work. I'm very happy with it. So next we're going to do the shoes. I did go with a flat today. But when you see it with the outfit, you'll get it. Normally I would love to wear a heel with this one. I think it, it plays better. But when I saw the color combo, I'm like, Michelle. You have to. You absolutely have to. So, um, so I've worn these pantyhose a couple of times. I've washed them and I don't remember the box, but so I can't tell you the type of pantyhose I'm wearing. They are a thicker one, um, but you look at this shoe, right? Like, doesn't it go so well? Again, I love wearing this with a nice heel, but I couldn't, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to wear this with it. But I did repaint my toes white. I got a hole in this pair of hosiery. I don't know if you could tell. Um, because for summer, I love the white. I've really been feeling the white. I just think that it amplifies. I think it looks really good. I'll probably go with a darker color. Uh, we're in August now, so I'll probably be changing it out to a fall color soon. But I figured let's rock some white um, for the end of the summer. I'm a little bummed because I didn't get... I mean, I got to go to the beach for a little bit, so I'm very thankful for that. But I didn't get to really go swimming. Um, we just walked the water. We didn't actually go swimming in it. But you know, it's okay. So that I never got a chance to go swimming. That's all right. There's always next year. I, this is two years in a row I haven't been. Swimming's my favorite thing to do. I love it. And when I finally manifest my house, I'm going to have a pool and I'll be swimming, swimming, swimming my heart out. One day it'll happen. I haven't given up hope yet. Some days I feel like it, but today's not that day. But yeah. There's like this fuzz here. But I think the shoe just, it looks so cute with it. Again, I, I like a heel with this because it really makes the calves look beautiful, but I had to. I just couldn't. The black and the red, I couldn't help myself. And this does tone down the look a little bit. It gives it more of a playful look, I think. Not as sexy as if it was with a heel. But this is cute. Now, this shoe is my size, but it's a little big. But, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I also think because of the point. And the shoe is made by C. Paravano. I have a lot of shoes by this company. Um, I really like this company. They're very well made shoes. They're super elegant and chic. Just perfect. And I just, I love it. And the pointy heel, I mean the pointy toe 
is making a comeback. So. All right, guys. It wouldn't be a Michelle outfit of the day if we didn't do the walk. So I'm gonna put you over here. Like, I know that we normally love heels on this channel. You know I'm a heel girl. Um, but I really love, the color was just so spot on for this outfit. I couldn't, I had, I had to, I couldn't resist. Because normally I do wear the flat to work and then switch into a heel when I get there. But I just, I don't know, I want to do something different. I thought it was cute and fun. So, I don't know what you guys think. But I think it does play the look down a little bit. It's a little bit more fun. Um, it's a little less sexy with the flat, in my opinion. But it's still cute. I love this dress. It's one of my favorite dresses. Um, and I love wearing red. Red's always been one of my favorite colors to wear. Uh, mainly because a lot of women shy away from red. I, I don't understand why. Everybody's all about the little black dress, which it's beautiful. Love it. But you'll catch me typically going for a red dress when I have to go to like an event, just because less peop less ladies are they're less likely to wear red. So or an electric blue. Electric blue isn't that popular either. I haven't found a white dress yet that I like, but that'd be the other one that I would want to do. <laughs> I mean, it is cute without. It is be cute for a date night, but for the office, this. And it's only two dollars, so I mean, gotta have to love it. And this one I like because, like, I really like not for work, obviously. I like taking this and using it as a waist cincher. I mean, it's kind of cute like this, but I wouldn't do that for work. I would do that like for my off time. It's a little different feel. I like doing that with like cardigans that you can do. Sometimes they're a little too chunky and you can't, but. I love this and the polka dots I think are cute and playful. I really love the 50s style dresses. So I guess you'll call this rockabilly. I love it. What do you think? It just sits on my body type very well. And because of the full skirt, if you weren't necessarily curvy like me, um, this will give you the illusion of an hourglass. All you need to do is get yourself a, a belt and cinch at the waist. It'll really make it look nice. I don't uh, wear a belt with mine, but you can do it. It would look really cute with a little black belt. Just right there, your natural waist. And because of the skirt, it would give you the illusion of a, uh, an hourglass. But I got sand down below, so. <laughs> yeah. I want to get this in other colors. I got to go on Amazon and look what other colors they have. This would look cute, I think, in a green. What do you think? Maybe not with the polka dots next time. We'll go maybe a solid or a different pattern. I don't know. What do you think? I love it. And this washes really well. I don't dry them in the dryer. I just put it through the wash cycle and then I let it air dry and it, it holds up really well. And there's a little bit of stretch to it. Not a lot, it's got a little bit. But yeah, I just, it looks, I love the movement. I, I'm telling you with a petticoat, how cute would this look? All right guys, I'm gonna let you get going. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. We are inside today because it's a little nasty outside. It's all muddy and gross. But we'll go back outside when it's a little bit nicer anyway guys i gotta get going because i'm running late to um a charity thing i'm supposed to be doing so i gotta get going so i'll see you in the next one take care guys bye